Hi y'all, happy Tip Tuesday. Um, today's tip is for my new home buyers that have never done this before. They're getting ready to enter into this market and they wanna know, what do I do first, right? Do I talk to you? Do I talk to a lender? Do I call my mom? I don't know what to do, right? Well, you should always call your mom. But other than that, um, if you start with me or a realtor or your realtor, of choice um, we can recommend you to our preferred lenders um, that way you know you're in good hands you're with a trusted lender you're with a local lender there's a lot of benefits to that which we can go over outside of this conversation um, but really starting with your lending and make sure that you're getting pre-approved for the value that you want to get pre-approved for is going to be your most important and biggest first step yes they will pull your credit um, yes, they're going to go through, you know, some conversations with you about debt, about income, about your job, about where you live currently. You're going to probably have to fill out an online application. Um, but I'll tell you, if you're not ready to have your credit pulled, you're probably not ready to start this process. So that's kind of a, a difficult um, revelation. But if you're one of those people that's like, no, I don't want anyone pulling my credit, then you might not be ready to start this process once you do get your credit pulled to start the process and start this um, lending application. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's 14 days, um, but you have a time block that you're able to continue to shop lenders and not have it negatively impact your credit for every time the mortgage lender pulls and does a hard hit um, because they are gonna do hard hits for you to make sure that they're giving you accurate information, the best um, you know, lending option for you, the best rate. They can't give you any of that information unless they do that hit and make sure that they know exactly where you stand. And worst case scenario, worst case scenario, if you're not where you thought you were, um, if you have a little work to do, that's okay too. Now you know, now you're sure, and you and that lender and me can work together to get you on a plan and a time frame to figure out what's going to work best for you, okay? What's the most important thing to pay off first? What's going to have the biggest impact for you? And going forward, um, how you're going to be able to better structure yourself so that you're ready and you've got more money saved up and you're ready to hit the ground running. So in my personal opinion, it's not a bad thing either way for the lender to pull your credit, get that application in, and let you know exactly where you are financially so that you know whether you are pleasantly pleasantly surprised and ready to jump in head first and you're approved for more than you thought you were, or if you're surprised the other way and you're like, oh man, I thought everything was fine and there are some things on my credit that I need to work on and I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with the rate I'm getting because of my credit score, so I'm going to take some time to work on that. Either way, knowledge is power, and make sure you give yourself the ability to have that power. Um, that's what we call buying power in the industry, so we want to make sure you're happy with your buying power so that you can be happy with our services. So if you have any questions, let me know.